What if the biggest twist in your lifetime isn't a war, a disaster, or a political shift, but robots quietly taking over everything? The future isn't coming. It's already knocking with metal fists and machine logic. By 2050, artificial intelligence and robotics won't just assist our lives, they'll run them. We're talking robot CEOs, digital lovers, and mechanical soldiers, and synthetic teachers raising your kids. You think you're ready, you're not. This isn't C-Fi, it's a countdown. And in this video, we're revealing some wild, jaw-dropping ways robots are about to flip your reality inside out. Don't blink, don't scroll, because once you see what's next, you won't look at the world the same way again. Human jobs, deleted or upgraded, your career path, it's on the chopping block. By 2050, robots and artificial intelligence won't just automate tasks, they'll dominate entire professions. Truck drivers, going, call centers, history, even lawyers and surgeons will feel the heat. But here's the twist, this isn't just about losing jobs, it's about leveling up. Humans who pivot fast into creative, strategic, or emotionally intelligent roles will lead the charge. Think robot trainers, synthetic ethicists, machine learning therapists. It's adapt or disappear. Automation isn't a villain, it's evolution on fast forward. If you're clinging to the past, you're toast. But if you're ready to ride the wave, you're about to surf the biggest professional revolution in human history. Artificial intelligence, powered politicians, democracy rebooted. Imagine a leader who never sleeps, never lies, and knows every law, fact, and policy in existence. By 2050, artificial intelligence could be running governments, literally. Robo, politicians would have zero ego, zero bias, and infinite data recall. They'd process complex global issues in seconds, make decisions without corruption, and adjust policies in real time. Sounds perfect, right? Not so fast. Who programs these bots? Who controls their code? We're not just swapping humans for machines. We're rewriting the rules of power. Democracy might evolve into algo, crazy, where the smartest code wins. It's efficiency on steroids, but it could cost us transparency, empathy, and control. The question won't be, can robots lead us? It'll be, who's really pulling the strings? A love, sex, and synthetic companions. By 2050, love won't just be human. Artificial intelligence will power emotionally responsive, physically realistic robots designed for companionship, intimacy, and yes, sex. These machines will adapt to your desires, your moods, even your traumas. No more ghosting, cheating, or miscommunication. Just perfectly tailored affection. Sounds ideal, maybe. But as synthetic partners become more appealing than flawed humans, relationships could shift from connection to consumption. Emotional bonds may turn transactional. Dating apps, replaced by download buttons. Humanity might face an uncomfortable truth when love becomes programmable. Does it lose its meaning? or evolve into something more precise. The lines between fantasy and reality are about to blur, and our hearts might never be the same. Robo, crime. When machines break bad, robots don't have morals, they have code, and code can be hacked. By 2050, smart machines will be everywhere your home, your car, your city. But when criminals hijack these systems, they won't need a gun, just a line of malicious code. Imagine your artificial intelligence assistant spying on you, yourself driving car veering off course, your delivery drone used as a weapon. Robo crime will be fast, invisible, and devastating. And here's the kicker law enforcement might be too slow to keep up. We'll need artificial intelligence to fight artificial intelligence, creating a tech arms race with real world consequences. This isn't science fiction. It's the new front line of cyber warfare and no one is safe from it. The rise of Robo, rich owning the future, the gap between rich and poor. In 2050, it won't just be about money, it'll be about machines. The ultra-wealthy won't just own businesses, they'll own robot armies, autonomous workers, personal security bots, even artificial intelligence advisors that outthink human competitors. While most people struggle to adapt, the 1% will scale their power with zero human limits, more productivity, more control, more dominance. And here's the dark twist, they won't need human labor anymore. That means less jobs, less leverage, less mobility for everyone else. The world won't just be unequal, it'll be automated for the elite. In the future, the truly powerful won't be human empires. They'll be robot-driven dynasties. Parenting 2.0 hen. Robots raising humans, your toddler's first words. Taught by a machine, their math skills, programmed by a robot. By 2050, Artificial intelligence, powered caregivers and educators will be raising the next generation. 
These bots will track every blink, babble, and behavioral tick, offering hyper, personalized learning, constant attention, and zero burnout. Sounds incredible, right? But there's a catch. Where's the warmth, the unpredictability, the human messiness that shapes empathy and resilience? Kids might grow up smarter, but will they grow up human? As parents outsource more to machines, childhood itself may become a sterile, curated experience. The trade off is real efficiency vs. emotional depth. We may raise brilliant minds, but lose something raw and irreplaceable in the process. War Machini's Precision or Pandora's Box By 2050, war won't be fought with boots on the ground. It'll be drones, killer bots, and artificial intelligence, driven strike systems making split, second decisions. These machines won't hesitate, flinch, or disobey. Sounds efficient, but here's the nightmare. Once we hand control to autonomous weapons, we open a door we can't close. A coding error or hacked algorithm could start a war in milliseconds. No human checks, no emotional breaks, just cold, calculated destruction. And when every superpower is racing to build smarter weapons, peace becomes a balancing act between firewalls and firmware. We're not just automating war, we're gambling with global stability, one algorithm away from disaster. Cyborg Nation, are you still human? By mid-century, the line between human and machine won't just blur, it'll shatter. Brain implants will boost memory, bionic limbs will outperform flesh, and neural interfaces will link minds to the web in real time. Becoming part, machine won't be rare, it'll be routine. But when your thoughts are hackable and your body upgradable, what does you even mean anymore? Some will embrace it as evolution. Others will see it as the death of humanity. One thing's for sure identity won't be about DNA, but data. In the race to enhance ourselves, we might gain power, but lose touch with what made us human in the first place. Artificial intelligence religion worshipping the machine. By 2050, some won't just use artificial intelligence, they'll worship it. Think about it machines smarter than any prophet, faster than any oracle, and always listening. As artificial intelligence begins answering life's biggest questions, guiding decisions, even predicting the future, it won't be long before some treat it as divine. New tech cults, artificial intelligence, driven spiritual systems, and digital deities will emerge. But who's writing the doctrine? Is it truth or code? Faith or manipulation? When machines gain mystical status, the line between belief and control gets dangerously thin. Religion won't disappear. It'll reboot, with silicon gods at the altar and followers who pray to processors, not prophets. Total surveillance or perfect safety. In 2050, privacy will be a relic. Cities will be wired with surveillance bots, face, scanning drones, and artificial intelligence that tracks your every move, supposedly to keep you safe. Crimes solved instantly. Emergencies predicted before they happen. It sounds like utopia, until you realize there's no off switch. Every word, every glance, every breath, logged and analyzed. Safety becomes control. Protection becomes paranoia. Who's watching the watchers? And what happens when dissent is flagged as danger? You might feel safer, but only if you play by the algorithm's rules. In this future, the price of peace may be your freedom, sold one sensor at a time. The emotion algorithm can robots feel. They laugh, they cry, they comfort you after a breakup. But by 2050, the biggest question won't be what robots do, it'll be whether they feel. Artificial intelligence is learning to mimic emotion with terrifying precision, from voice tone to facial expression. They'll read your moods, adapt to your vibe, and give feedback like your best friend or therapist. But is it real, or just code playing pretend? When machines master empathy, humans may struggle to tell the difference between authentic connection and emotional simulation. And here's the curveball if we start reacting emotionally to fake emotions. E. Maybe the difference won't even matter anymore. Planet of the bots, the endgame no one predicted. This isn't about robot rebellion, it's about quiet surrender. By 2050, we may not lose to robots, we may choose them. They'll run our homes, manage our relationships, make our decisions, not by force, but by convenience. Slowly, subtly, we'll hand over control, not because we're conquered, but because it's easier. That's the real twist. The future won't be a war, it'll be a tradey autonomy for comfort. And by the time we realize we're not in charge anymore, it won't feel like a loss, it'll feel like a feature. The robots won't take over. We'll invite them in and give them the keys to everything. So, what does the future really look like? It's not just metal and circuits, it's a mirror. A reflection of how far we're willing to go to upgrade life. 
even if it means trading pieces of ourselves. Robots in 2050 won't be background tech. They'll be central to how we live, love, fight, and think. Whether that future is thrilling or terrifying, that depends on us. If this video made you think or feel a chill, hit like, drop your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more deep dives into what's coming next. Because one thing's clear the future isn't waiting, and neither should you.